say, God, I'm going to make a statement. Lord, what do you want me to be? A lawyer? Do you want me to be a minister? Do you want me to be a doctor? Do you want me to be a missionary? Whatever it is that God wants the baby to be. Whatever God invests into their life. But you know what? I want to talk to the, to the godparents first. See, I, I barely got godparents... What was it, about two years ago-ish? I got godparents about two years ago. It's this ish and my cousin ish and my cousin Matt. We haven't had a ceremony yet. <laughs> but the godparents are serious. They can't decide who's going to hold me up when it's time to pray. <laughs> the godparents play such an important role. Because it's what you're doing is you're making a vow before God and witnesses to say, I am going to help you to raise this baby. I'm going to help mom and dad raise this baby. Uh, in the moments when, when, when it's too much, where you need, you need help, where you need a break, or you need a date night, or you need to get out, that's when, when godparents step in. But godparents also play, they, they, they play a, a certain protection. Because it's what they do is they say, you know what, I'm gonna answer your questions that I might not be able to ask dad. I'm going to answer the questions that I might not be able to ask mom. But they have to have somebody that they can trust. Somebody that is looking out for their best interest. Somebody that's going to be honest with them and sit them down and say, you know what, really, this is what I think. I have your back, but you can't be wrong. I have your back if you go wrong, but I need to be honest with you when you are wrong. That's how important godparents are. Plus, I just like the name Godfather. You know, make me call you Godfather. Amen? But it's a covering. This is a safety net to say, you know what? When I'm not watching, she's watching. And when Dad's not watching, you're watching. So that you have that extra pair of eyes. And you're listening. And you're taking the pulse of the people around them. And you say, you know what? I don't feel right to me. You know, that don't look right to me. And I'm not sure about this. But it's also to come in and to give dad and mom advice. To say, you know what? This, this is what I think. This is what I feel. So that you can do it together. But here, here God, parents, you know what you're doing is you're making a vow now then to say, you know what? I want to make sure that this baby knows who Jesus Christ is. I want to make sure that this baby knows how to pray when they're in trouble. I want to make sure that beyond the shadow of a doubt, no matter what problems mom and dad may face, that this child knows how to fall on their face before God and say, I know that God can make a way when there is no way. Not only because of who my parents are, but because of who my godparents are. And you're making sure to say, you know what, when, when it comes time to those things, you say, you know what, let's pray. Do you know how to pray? Do you know what the Bible says? Do you know what the Word says? Because the Word is the, is, is the directory to your life. The Word is going to help you help them in everything that they do. But it's what we're doing here today is we're saying, you know what, devil, hands off. We are giving this child today a life according to the Word of God. And you know what's so special is that what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing has been done from before the time of Jesus. Before the time of Jesus, they used to bring their children to the synagogue. They used to bring their children to the temple. And they used to say, you know what? I'm dedicating this child to God. That they would have a life. That they would have a heart. That they would have a hunger for the things of God. Because they see mom and dad. And they see uh, uh, Godfather and Godmother following the steps and the ways of Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? amen. Now here, mom and dad, here's what's important about having God parents. They're already agreeing before witnesses in God that they're going to be a help so that you can lean on them and that you can have somebody that you can trust with them, that you can have somebody to help you get through the times, emotional times, to help you get through the spiritual times. You just, see, they're already making a vow to you to say, you know what, we're not going to let you raise him alone. We're not going to let you be by yourself. That Despite all of our differences, we're going to come together and we're going to figure out what's best for this child. So mom and dad, as you come and you bring and you dedicate this baby back to God, you say, you know what, Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done in this baby's life. And we're coming against, we're coming against sickness. We're asking God to have favor. We're asking God to just be with them and make a way and cover them. Can you say amen? 
Amen. You know what? I'm going to pray for the godparents first. Missy, give me some oil. I'm going to pray, and I'm going to anoint the godparents first. Then I'm going to pray and anoint the parents. And, and then we're going to anoint and dedicate these children back to God. Reach your hands up here. And if one gets tired, then switch hands and use the other one. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, I anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Just to be the direction that this child may need for wisdom, for patience, for understanding for mom and dad. That you'd be able to bear the load against all odds. That God would give you everything you need to not only help raise this baby, but the baby's under your roof. In Jesus' name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and I bestow upon you the honor of being God, man. the honor of being able to say this direction or that direction, or have you prayed, have you given it to God, have you fasted, that you would just speak favor over their life, over his life every day, that you would just be the guide and the lighthouse of the storm that they need, in Jesus' name. Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that God would just give you clear direction. That God would just give you uh, the clear sight to even see ahead. To say, let's go this way and not, not to go that way. Or let's do this and let's not do that. Because that way, you can know exactly what the enemy's tricks are up to. And you can steer the ship to the left or to the right. Or that you would have the wisdom to tell mom, mom, this is what I think we should do. Or dad, this is what I think we should do. What is best for Sebastian. And, and that you would just have the courage to, to say what God puts in your heart in Jesus' name. Lord, that you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that God would just give you a clear path, not only in your own life and in the direction that you have chosen, but that God would give you the wisdom to speak the trials that you've gone through to help Sebastian, the broken hearts that you've dealt with to help him when his heart is broken. And when he comes to a crossroads and he's not sure what decision to make, and he can't run to mom and he can't run to dad, that there would be a, an open door there to you to sit there and say, God, Father, these are the things that are, are on my heart and that you would have the wisdom and the courage to say, this is the direction you should go in because God has spoken to me and I ask this in Jesus' name. I'm going to the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Your angels are tall and I think you're still growing out there. Father God, I just bless him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Lord, that he would be the best Godfather, Lord, that, that, that little Nicky could ask for, Father God. Lord, that you just give him the strength and the wisdom and the courage to stand up against the enemy. Lord, that he would run in and be a protector. Lord, that he would be the courage in everything that she needs, Father God. And Lord, I just ask that you give him wisdom and you give him strength and you give him understanding. Not only for, for the baby, Lord, but for mom and for dad also. And he would be a relief valve, that he would be a, a testimony of how that when they come together, that they can raise an amazing child. That she can be whatever she wants to be because of the godmother and godfather and mom and dad in her life. Lord, and I just ask that you give him even biblical wisdom. Lord, that he can go straight to the scriptures and say, this is what God's word says that we should do. In Jesus' name we pray. Son and the Holy Ghost, that you would just be all that God loves me to be. That you would have patience, wisdom, understanding, that whenever she runs to you or goes to you, you would have an answer. That every question that may pop up in her little heart, that you would have an answer. That you would even see on her face before she asks, what's wrong? What's bothering you? What's going on? And you would know exactly what to say, exactly what to do, that God would just give you a a, a wisdom that surpasses understanding and, and that you would even have words for mom and for dad to calm them down or to lift them up or to encourage them through a storm and they've chosen you for a reason and I just ask that God give you all the words and courage and faith that you need to be the God woman that they've asked in Jesus name hallelujah now we're going to pray for the parents you know parents 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 Parents, that's the influence. You know, when a son says, I want to be just like my dad. You know, when a daughter says, I want to be just, just like my mom. You know, then what are they want to be? What are you that they say, I want to be just like you? What have you done that they say, I want to do what you've done? Where have you been that they say, I want to be where you have been? But the most important job, the closest to their heart, the closest to them, that God would just bless you and give you direction and light. 
that God would just anoint you to be the best parent you can be. As, as the enemy tries everything they can do to come against the family. You know what the enemy's number one uh, uh, is on his list? Is to destroy the family. If he can destroy the family, everybody hurts. But you know what? When that battle comes and God shows up, he can fix any broken heart in any situation. Help me pray for the parents today. I anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I just ask that God give you wisdom and anointing that you could be the best father you could be. That you would have patience uh, when there isn't patience to be found. That you would have wisdom to any question that he may ask. That you would blaze a path for him to make his walk easier. Oh, that you would make the sacrifices that need to be made so that your son can have everything that he needs. Not only in the flesh, but in the spirit. That you teach him how to pray. You teach him how to fast. You teach him how to give. You teach him how to go before God and humble himself but that you would be the, the priest and you would be the king of your household raising this young prince and that God would just give you the anointing you need in Jesus' name I pray. I anoint you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, that God would just give you the patience you need to be the best mommy ever, that you would have patience, wisdom, favor, knowledge, understanding, Oh, that any time his heart may be broken, or any time his dreams may be tested, that you would be there to guide him through. You'd be there to advise him, be it the middle of the night or the middle of the day. That you'd be there to help him carry his load, that he could succeed and become anything that he wants to be. That God would just touch your mind, your heart, and your soul to just do and overcome any obstacle that the enemy may bring at you and the mom. But I know right now that as God comes in to help you, speak through you and use you to raise the young prince in your house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father God, I pray for my brother Juan, Lord, that from the crown of his head to the soul of his feet. Lord, as he sacrificed and laid his Father God to make a better home for his family. Lord, don't only let him be the best daddy that he can be, but let him be the best husband that he can be. Let him be an encourager to his wife. Uh, let him be a protector of his daughter. Lord, give him the wisdom, Father God, that only you can give him. Give him the patience and the strength and the understanding, Father God. Lord, as he has humbled himself and come before you and said, I dedicate my baby. I give it back to the Lord right now. And she would be whatever you want her to be, Father God, Lord. And I just ask it right now from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Strengthen his mind. Strengthen his heart. Strengthen his relationship, Father God. And let him be the lighthouse that they need, Lord, in the midst of the storm. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I just bless Mama now from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Lord, that she can get all the tasks that she needs to, to get done, Father God. Give her the strength. Give her wisdom when it comes time for school. Father God, give her understanding when it comes time for friends, Father God. Lord, give her answers when it comes time for the matters of the heart, Father God. But Lord, just, just let our protection and a peace and a joy come over her, Father God. Lord, that she would know that, that this one's been chosen. This one is, is given back to you, Father God, Lord. And I just ask that you bless her for coming into your house and saying, today, I dedicate uh, my baby back to you, Father God, that she can be a lawyer or a doctor, a missionary or a minister, whatever that you may have her to be, Father God, Lord, to further the gospel. But Lord, give mommy the wisdom to show her how to pray, teach her how to read the word, teach her how to seek your face, teach her how to humble before you, Father God, Lord, because moms are always the glue to the family, Lord. Keep her encouraged and keep her strong. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Now let's just pray for the babies. Amen. Pastor Mister, come and help me here. We're just going to dedicate the babies back to the Holy Spirit. Lord, Heavenly Father, we dedicate this baby back to you, Father God. We lift him up to you, and Father God, and we say, use him. Take with his life and do what you will, Father God. Lord, help him to be the son that they need him to be. 
Give him an encouraging word when he needs to be encouraged. Father God, give him a protection when he needs to be protected. Give him wisdom when he needs wisdom, Father God. But Lord, let him walk around with favor from his family, favor from his teachers, favor from anyone that would come in his life, that they would see something special in this little boy, Father God. Lord, that they would know that this one's been invested in, this one's been dedicated to, this one has been given to you, Father God, and we just lift him up and dedicate him back to you. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody say, Amen. Amen. Father God, we dedicate this precious angel to you, Father God. Lord, we just ask that you guide her. Lord, you protect her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord. Lord, we come against any illness. We come against anything that would disrupt, anything that, Father God, would try to bother, Lord. We just speak peace, Father God, from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. And favor, Father God. Encourage her when she needs to be encouraged. Give her hope when she needs hope. Give her favor when she needs favor, Father God. Wisdom, Lord, as she, as she starts this journey out in life, Father God. But Lord, let her go through life, Lord, as a light. Let her go through life, Father God, Lord, as a spark, as something special. That they would see her coming and say, that one is of the Lord, Father God. And just dedicate her and give her back to you and say, make her into something special, this little princess in Jesus name and all of God's people said Amen. Amen. Give them all that.